Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamu alaikum. Dear students, sometime the probability of one event is dependent on the probability of another event. The probability of one event is given and we need to find the probability of another event. In that case, we use the concept of conditional probability. Finding the probability of one event under the condition that another event has been occurred is called the conditional probability. Mathematically, we denote the conditional probability by this symbol and it is defined by this formula. Probability of A given B is equal to probability of A intersection B divided by probability of B. If we need to find probability of B given A, formula will be the same. Just we have to divide it by P of A instead of P of B. Let us solve some examples to understand the concept. Example number one, the probability that a regularly scheduled flight departs, represent departs by D, and time is 0.83. So probability of D is given. The probability that it arrives denote arrived by capital A at time is 0.82. So probability of A is given and the probability that it is de it departs and arrives at time is 0.78. So probability of D intersection A is also given. The task is to find the probabilities of these two events. It arrives on time, given that it is departed on time. Number two, departed on times, given that it is arrived on time. To find the probability of first event, we use the basic formula of conditional probability. Probability that it arrives on time given that it is departed on time is denoted by P of A given D, which is equal to P of A intersection D divided by P of D. Just substituting the values from the above data and simplifying, we get that the solution is 95%. Departed on time, given that it, it is arrived on time, we denote it by P of D given A, which is equal to P of A intersection D divided by P of A. Again, just substituting the values from the above data, and we get the solution, which is 95%. Let us see another example. A random sample of 500 male and female is classified in this table. If a person is selected at random, find the probability that the person is male given that the person has secondary education. Number two, the person does not have college degree given that person is female. Now, Look at this table. There are 40 male having elementary education, 70 secondary, and 150 males are having college degree. Similarly, 90 females, they are having elementary education, 60 secondary, and 90 college degree. To find probability of M given E, we use the basic formula of conditional probability and for this formula now we need probability of m intersection e and probability of e from the above data we have to find these two probabilities then substituting the values in this formula we get the solution of part number one let us see how we can find these two probabilities first of all look at probability of e 
which is equal to n of e divided by n of s. n of e mean all those having elementary education. So there are 40 plus 90, which is equal to 130. They are having elementary education. So putting the value of n of e and then n of s. n of s is all possible outcomes in the total sample space s. So all the people in this classification are 500. To find probability of m intersection e, this is equal to n of m intersection e divided by n of s. n of s is 500. m intersection e, those males which are having elementary education. So the intersection of male having elementary education, that is 40. Now substituting these two values in this formula of conditional probability and simplifying, we get the solution, which is four by 13. Part number two, we need to find the probability that the person does not has college degree. Having college degree, we denote it by C and C complement denotes that they don't have college degree given that they are female. So we need to find P of C complement intersection F divided by P of F. Substituting values here, we will get the solution. To find P of F, this is equal to N of F divided by N of S. N of F mean all females. So 90 plus 60 plus 90, this is 240. And N of S is 500. To find P of C complement intersection F, that is, this is equal to N of C complement intersection F. 90 female, they are having college degree, but 60 plus 90, they don't have college degree. So we need intersection of female, which don't have the college degree. So this is 90 plus 60 which is equal to 150. Now substituting these two values in this formula and simplifying, we get the solution, which is five by eight. Independent and dependent events. Two events are said to be independent. If the probability of occurrence of one event is not affected by the probability of occurrence or non-occurrence of other event. Otherwise, they are said to be dependent events. Mathematically, we say that two events A and B are said to be independent if probability of A intersection B is equal to probability of A into probability of B. And if they are not equal, then we will say that they are dependent. Here, we shall remember that in any question, if it is known that A and B are independent, then the probability of A intersection B can be obtained by using this formula. Let us see an example. The probability that a man will be alive in the age of 55 years is three by five. And the probability that his wife will be alive in the age of 55 years is three by four. The task is to find the probabilities of these two events. Number one, both will be alive. Number two, at least one will be alive. Here we present the probability that man is alive by P of M. So M is an event which, which represent that man is alive and W is an event 
which represent that his wife will be alive. So probability of M is given and probability of W is given. In part number one, we need to find that both will be alive, which means that M and W will be alive. So probability of M intersection W is required. In part number two, at least one will be alive, which means that M or W will be alive. Man will be alive, his wife will be alive, or both will be alive. So we need to find probability of M union W. Let us see the solution of part number one. Here we can see that M and W, they are independent. So probability of M intersection W is equal to probability of M N to probability of W. Substituting the values and simplifying, we get the solution, which is nine by 20, which is equal to 45%. To see the solution of part two, we use this formula. Probability of M union W is equal to probability of M plus probability of W minus probability of M intersection W. Probability of M is three by five. Probability of W is three by four. Probability of M intersection W, it is nine by 20. Substituting these values in this formula, and simplifying, we get nine by 20, which is equal to 90%. So the probability that man will be alive or his wife will be alive, or both will be alive is 90%. That, that's all.